so hi. I figured I would be perfectly candid with you in this vlog. This is not gonna be the most great intro to any of my Cramathon vlogs, but it is currently like 2.45 a.m. on June 9th, no, July 9th, which means Cramathon has begun. I don't know if you noticed, but I did not upload a Cramathon announcement video or a Cramathon TBR. That is mainly due to the fact that I've been working non-stop. In between that, I have online classes. In between that, I'm sleeping in between between that I'm doing other stuff. I decided to go outside and read and this happened. I don't know if you can tell but my nose is like blistered. I am in so much pain. No matter what I do, I just like anytime I move I'm miserable. I called into work today because I could not stand. And like this is just so embarrassing to look at. I was like, I I can't even hold up a book and like be energetic to film a video. It's actually hurting me to hold this camera up is like how bad it's getting. Guys, I just freaked out because my attic door was open a couple of inches and I thought someone was staring at me. <sighs> anyway, I just wanted to document how crappy of a mindset that I've been in lately. I had an essay due at midnight that was my final essay. Like the last thing I ever had to turn in from a history class. Yeah, I literally didn't feel like doing it, so I didn't do it. It's 2 a.m. I've still only written the intro paragraph. I really don't want to finish it. I told myself I'm not allowed to go to bed without finishing it. My entire face just hurts. My entire chesticle area just hurts. I haven't begun my TBR. I told myself I would not read until I turned in this essay. I've worked today at 2 p.m. I could cry all over again right now because I do not want to deal with today. And I just wanted to post like a massive apology to everyone who's supported Cramathon. They're still doing it even though we are literally the worst hosts in the world. And it makes me feel horrible. But I'm like this is- this summer is not cute for me. Also, did I mention my AC is out? So it's literally 86 degrees upstairs right now. This is just a complain-a-thon vlog, okay? I'm gonna finish off this bag of Cheez-Its and then write an essay. <laughs> Hope you're having a better start to a cram -a than I am. So it's 10 a.m. I wrote my essay like half an hour ago. So I just wanted to let y'all know I turned it in and I'm going to bed. I was gonna wake up around this time and start reading, but I had two hours of sleep, so I'd rather not die at work tonight. So maybe I'll update you later if I wake up and feel like reading. If not, I'll definitely be reading on my lunch breaks. So that should be an adventure. Well, I just cried putting on my clothes for work because it hurts so bad and I can't call in today. So that's how my day's going so far. How are you doing? So I just got home, it is. 11 o'clock. I haven't touched a single book! <laughs> Nor have I even made a TBR video, so really, am I participating in Gramathon? Debatable. So I do anticipate, once I get upstairs, I'm gonna take my shortest books, which is my graphic novel and one of my poetry books, I'm gonna just make it my way downtown through those books because I want to get that five book done as I'm like giving myself a hefty supply of noodles on my plate. Delicious. Sunburn update. Do you see the difference between skin and sunburn? So painful, but I feel better. So I can like somewhat move my arms now. Walking those dogs was a struggle. So I'm gonna heat this up and then I will rejoin you upstairs once I am eating and reading. Okay, so I figured like a real human would. Let me show you my TBR for this readathon. I have this stack of things. I'm not wearing pants. This is a very dangerous angle and I realize I've showed you both my boob and given you the fact that I don't have pants on. Very scandalous vlog. So I have nine books to read. I'm just gonna spread them out and show you because I don't want to hold them up because that'll take a long time. You can just pause it and be like, oh nice, those are some good books. Why am I holding the camera right here? Is this doable? Probably not. I just realized just now that this is kind of a crazy, unproportional amount to the amount of time that I have to do this readathon. But you know, whenever I get into the mood of reading during Cramathon, I cram that thon. I figure if I read one graphic novel, one short story, one short book, one book of poetry, that's four books in one day and I could do that in like a couple hours, which is more than enough for me. I need to stop talking and get reading, so I'm gonna eat me some asparagus. The best food of my life. I definitely want to start out with a picture book. It's either gonna be Saga Volume 5 
or Humans of New York. I'm gonna do Saga Volume 5 because I've been putting this one off for way too long. I don't remember what happened in the last one, but... <coughs> So it is 12.30, I just finished Saga Volume 5. I really should have reread Volume 4 before reading this one because I was just going through the entire thing like, what? 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 And I know I probably would have gotten more out of it if I had read the other one, but that book's in storage, so I just suffered my way through. I just love this series, though. I just think it's a really well done series, and I'm gonna have to pick up that volume six. What should I read next? I was gonna read Humans of New York next, because that's just a picture book and I could just look through it, but I kind of want to read this one. I'm gonna start this one, and if I get really bored, I'm probably going to abandon it. It's been, like, two minutes since I updated and I'm on page three of Of Mice and Men and I'm really enjoying it so far but I just got a wave of sleepiness that made me remember I only got two hours of sleep last night so I do not know how much longer I'll be awake. I may end up updating this vlog another time but if not just want to let y'all know I am getting sleepy. It's 1:15 a.m. I made it 25 pages into Of Mice and Men which is like a quarter of the way through, maybe? I know this is less than 100 pages, so it's definitely progress. But I noticed as I was going through my shelf that I forgot a book that was on my TBR, so I'm also going to be reading A Prodigy, which is another graphic novel. Good morning, Bikini Bottom! This hair, wow, going great. It is 9.30. I just woke up from the most unpleasant sleep of my entire life, this sunburn, not pleasant. I figured I have two hours till I have to go to work. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish this in an hour and a half, but I'm gonna try. I'm, okay, don't jump on me. I can't, I, I have to vlog like this at the camera store to see with my phone up. Hi, quiet. Hi everyone, I didn't vlog this morning. Wait, did I? I think I did, okay. I don't know the last time I, vlog I vlogged, but update. I fell asleep. <laughs> I did not read as much as I wanted to this morning. I think I read like five pages after I woke up and then I was like, nah man, that extra hour and a half of sleep, I'll go for it. I'm at work now, obviously. I am halfway through work. I get off at 7.30, then we're gonna have a lot of fun tonight. Anyway, right now I'm in peach camp. Say hi, everyone! <laughs> this camp is pretty chill. So, shh, shh. I've been reading while I'm in here, and so I got like another five pages into my book. I will let you know on my lunch break what page I have gotten up to after I'm done with this hour of staying in here, and then after I'm done with lunch. everyone's favorite. We love him. And Molly, and Roscoe, and Gordon, <laughs> and Bentley. Hi, Bentley. Oh my god! <laughs> So, have we got a show for you? It is 10.30. I got home from work around 9. We got out late. I had some food. I got caught up on Casey Neistat vlogs. I watched pretty much every video on my YouTube feed. But I do have an update. I read while I was at work and I read while I was at lunch. In case my boss is watching this, I didn't read while I was in day camp. What? I made it to page 66 of Of Mice and Men, which sets me about that far through it, more than halfway. I'm liking it so far. It's very dialogue heavy, which on one hand is great because it goes by faster, but on the other hand is not great because it's written with like southern illiterate slang, so I'm just like... Mm, okay. Hey fam, it is 11.30. I got a text message. Hmm, I just want to let y'all know I finished this book. So this was just 107 pages, so it wasn't like, oh my god, I finished a book. It's like a novella. Final thoughts? Uh, oh. 
for a while I was like, where's this going? I don't really get it. Like, I didn't think I was going to like it, but the ending alone raised it an entire star for me. That was really sad and, oh man. So I'll talk about that more in my wrap up. I've been peeling my nose because I've been bored and it hurts so bad, but I can't stop. Oh my gosh. I'm one of those people that like, if I have a scab, it's coming off. The best feeling. So right now, I think I'm going to start this graphic novel and... I don't remember what happens in the first one. This is a trend. I'm gonna read this all in one sitting now. I'll probably check in with you at like midnight. Hello? It's 1.30 a.m. I just finished Prodigy. The graphic novel lighting is not cute over here. Where is the good lighting? Nowhere. Okay, never mind. Finished it. it took me like 45 minutes. I just think this is, this is an enjoyable series. The art is great. It's a book series I've already read, so I'm just revisiting it in a different format. It's not the best thing you'll ever read. And honestly, I'm kind of sick of dystopia. Like, I read this and I'm like, I don't know what to start next. Actually, I do. Humans of New York, which is gonna be so great, and I don't know if I can read all of this tonight. I will update you when I go to bed if I finish this, or maybe I won't. I don't work tomorrow till 1.30, so I can stay up till like 4 a.m. if I want to. It's 4 a.m., and I was totally kidding about the fact that I could stay up till 4 a.m. if I wanted to, but here we are. I didn't mean to, but I read the entirety of Humans of New York stories, and I just, I love these. I love this. I marked my favorite pictures and captions. I'm so tired. I want to start a book before I go to bed just so I can have it started so when I wake up I'll feel more encouraged to read it. I think I want to start a poetry book. This one I think will be good. Hopefully. Good morning Bikini Bottom. It is 11 a.m. I just woke up. I had me some breakfast and it's delicious. So last night I told y'all I was going to start Milk and Honey and I was maybe gonna get like five pages into it. Good story, bro. I got 76 pages into it. This is a super fast read. Like some of the pages just have like six words on them. I'm not gonna say my thoughts until the very end, but I'm just gonna let y'all know it's not living up to the hype for me. So I've just finished Milk and Honey by Ruby Kara. I just gotta say, not impressed. I just am so underwhelmed by this book. I don't know why people say like it's their favorite book and the poetry is so great because it's like I've read so much better poetry than this. It was pretty at some points but as you can see I only marked four poems out of the entire thing. Maybe it's because I can't relate to like heartbreak or being in love but I just didn't really click with this. I'm gonna start a new book, but I don't know which one. You know what, I think I'm gonna knock out the other poetry book because I, I need to review this one anyway. So I'm gonna read Blythe Baird's poetry book and hopefully enjoy it a lot more than that previous one because I know for a fact that I love me some Blythe Baird. Okay, so right now it's 12.55. I have to leave for work in five minutes. I am now 50 pages into Give Me a God I Can Relate To. I'm over halfway, so I'm gonna bring this to work with me. I am loving it so far in comparison to this which is a drastic bestseller in comparison to this. This is so much better. This is probably gonna be an automatic five stars just because I love Blythe and just, it's so gorgeous and everything's amazing. Ugh, okay, I have to go. I've been reading, I made it to page 64, which is that far of the way through. I got my phone back. I forgot to tell you all what happened to my phone. I left it at work overnight. It was miserable. My nose is still peeling and everything hurts, but I get to go home in two hours and I'm off for three days, so I'm just making my way downtown. Oh my god, this is my new favorite song of the moment! Oh my god. Who's that sexy thing I see over there? That's me, sitting in the mirror. I'm driving home. Sorry it's dark. After the sun sets, there is no light. 
So that is the situation I'm having right now. I don't have to work anymore for three days. I'm so happy. Oh no, please don't fall over during this turn. I believe in you. We good. I almost died. In spirits of last year's vlog, I might give you some info on what's happening in my life. I started a new online class, so I had two online classes this summer. The first one was last semester, and it was my US history class. I got a 96. I would like to thank everyone, including Hamilton, that contributed to that. I'm just kidding, Hamilton wasn't in that class. It was tragic. This semester, I have technical writing, which I didn't know what it was gonna be. I just kinda needed a class that would fulfill a requirement for my court or my degree plan. It's a class all about business documents. So it's like resumes and how to type emails and how to do like cover letters and stuff. I don't know if you're bored, but I'm li I'm living for it. I'm so excited because every time I talk to publishers, I'm like a baby typing. I feel so stupid. I was never versed in that type of communication. So I'm taking that class and hopefully afterward I can type an email that's not just like, hello, I am Witty Novel, send me a book, thank you, bye. I feel like I might address why I haven't been posting recently, which is entirely because of the two things I just mentioned, work and online classes. Also, our AC has been out since literally like last November meaning like a week ago. It's been rough and I haven't wanted to film because I get sweaty when I film just because I'm fat but like when I'm filming in a 90 degree room I get real bad. I have a lot of video ideas. I just have them in my head and I've been having issues this summer where I think of things that I want to do but then I think of the process that I'd have to go through from getting that from my head to the youtube.com and I just like, I shut down a little bit. I don't know if I'm tired this summer or if I just need to take a break like I did the other, take a break. Oh no, I'm triggered because I don't want to think about Hamilton. But I almost unfollowed Lynn manuel from Twitter because I just do not want to hear about Hamilton not being a thing anymore with them. Like it just breaks. I didn't watch any of the like last bow. I haven't seen any of their tweets. I listened to the soundtrack at work and I literally, like today's the anniversary of the um, Burr-Hamilton duel and I just, I'm ignoring it so hard. Denial is not just a river in Egypt. This is not even a good vlog, you can't see me. I just almost drifted into the other lane watching myself. We're going 55, which I appreciate it. I love the number 55, but like it's 60 here. Like why would you go 55 when you could go 62? Am I right ladies? I don't know, I think Y'all Fest might deserve a mention. I was seriously considering going to Y'all Fest after BEA because I just met so many amazing people that were, told me they were going to Y'all Fest and I just love hanging out with booktubers. Like it is as good as people might make it seem in vlogs. It is just priceless memes, fun stuff. I would pay the money to go there just to hang out with people, like not even bring any books. I would just want to sit in Sarah and Michael's lap and that's it. I just can't skip the class because it takes place mostly on a Friday, I think. There's no plausible way for me to be able to get out of class and then for me to be able to pay for that plane ticket when I'm still like, in school. I really want to. If someone could sweep me away, send me a plane ticket, and then tell my professors, that would be just great, but I can't. And it makes me sad because I wanted to see all my friends. I wish I could show you like where what I'm driving through because I literally live in the middle of nowhere now. We live at my aunt's house and it's farms. <laughs> I'm driving past farms. There's some donkeys over there. Everyone here has donkeys. I don't get it. They're so loud and annoying. Okay, I think this car vlog has come to an end. I only sang once, so you're welcome. <laughs> oh, I thought that was a face right there when I leaned over. I just almost had a heart attack. Okay, it's fine. Ooh, the reason why it was dark in the car is so that you couldn't see how crusty I look. <laughs> Hi hey fam, it's 12.30 a.m. I have work, I don't have work for the next two days, which means that tomorrow I have all day to read, which is good because I just finished this book. And Give Me a God I Can Relate To by Blackberry. Loved it. This is like an independent publishing company. This is done super low key. I, I didn't even know she had a book. And this is like instant Amazon bestseller. Everyone loves it, everyone's read it. This was 20 times better. This is heavily feminism focused and there's a lot of talk about her anorexia and sexual assault. So if you're looking for some good feminism poetry, I love Blythe Baird. I wanna finish a book tonight. So I think I'm gonna read this short story by Rainbow Rowell. I have no clue what this is about. See, this says for older readers, but I was not a fan of attachments by Rainbow Rowell. So this might go very badly. My forehead is peeling. That is so gross. Hi. Oh, I'm tired. The time, 1.30. I just finished Kindred Spirits, which I lied, it's not for older readers, it's for YA, so I don't know why it says 
for older readers because it's about an 18 year old this is not what i thought it would be it was like a girl waiting outside a movie theater for star wars it was cool but i don't understand the point of it like i feel like if you're gonna write something into a shorter amount of space there should be some sort of like punch to it and this was just kind of like mm. i'm definitely gonna be saving this one for when i'm more awake tomorrow you know what i'm gonna read Doll Bones by Holly Black. I probably will not finish this tonight, but let's start and see at what point I get tired. Hey, so I literally just vlogged, but I wanted to get back to y'all and let y'all know a thing. So I started Doll Bones, got a couple pages in, was not liking it, reread the synopsis, realized I don't really even care about the synopsis. I'm just not gonna read this, and I might even get rid of it. I only bought it because it was only like a dollar. It's like a middle grade book about a creepy doll, and I'm just like... Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'll be able to sleep though because my sunburn on my chest hurts so freaking bad. I can't even move. Hey fam, it's almost one o'clock. I woke up like two or three hours ago, but I didn't vlog because I've been in so much pain because my sunburn. Uh... I started A Room of One's Own, but I got like 10 pages into it and realized I'm not liking it. It's nonfiction. It's just dragging. It's in that like old 1920s very pretty slash old slash descriptive writing style. I'm really not feeling it. I don't know if I want to get rid of this book or keep it and try it some other time, but it's just not interesting to me like I thought it would be. Like it's about feminism, but it's, I don't know if it's outdated or what. I just cannot. It's not very good. The only other book that I had on my TBR, which is The Vegetarian, which I'm so excited for. Everyone's saying it's amazing. So I'm just going to chill. I'm not going to try and rush through this. I just want to take it at face value, get to know it, get to love it, and hopefully enjoy it. Guten Tag, meine Liebe. It's actually... 4.30 for the next day after Cramathon, so obviously I'm not cramming anymore, but I wanted to end this vlog. I want to let you know that I only ended up getting about 50 pages into The Vegetarian, which I'm enjoying so far. Not sure where it's going. I'll talk about it more in my wrap-up, most likely. I just want to say thank you to anyone who watched this. I know this was a long vlog because I ended up just doing all four days back-to-back -back since I lost my phone, then drama, then I did stuff today. I look so good right now. Oh my gosh. Yes, Whitney. Thank you to anyone who participated. I hope you all had a great time watching this vlog. I hope I inspired you to read. I hope that you will I hope you all will participate when this occurs again in December. I promise we will run it more smoothly and we will be more active and we will actually post announcement videos in direct action myself gosh dang i'm gonna go read now because my arm hurts actually i shouldn't read i should go edit this i'm gonna go edit now have a good day everyone hope you're having a nice life goodbye